Alrighty, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We're gonna play some more Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, we're currently gonna do... What's her name? God, I can't even remember her name. Dang it. Agnia's story. We're gonna play Agnia's story. Let's just head to the little place and start her up. Alrighty, uh, main story, chapter 4. Agnia makes her way to the town of Sai, a place her mother once performed. She enters the town in search of someone who might remember her mother. So this is Sai, the town where Mama performed. Giselle was here not long ago, so perhaps someone knows something. Excuse me. Is something the matter, miss? Would you happen to know of a dancer who was here about 20 years ago? Oh my, 20 years is quite a long time. The place has changed so much since then. Perhaps you should check the old quarters in the east. I will. Thank you. Oh my. There's a statue of a dancer. Is that... You think it's my mom? That pose looks just like the moon step. Could this statue be... Out of my way, old lady. <laughs> old? Like this. And that. And one of these. Is she painting it or cleaning it? That ought to do it. Lila, what are you doing? We've had just about enough of your mischief. To make matters worse, you've took my old mother's statue. Mothers. She looks better this way. Is it my two little brother and sister now? The statue is a symbol of our hope. Like that matters in this town. We have no money, no good food, nothing. There's no hope for us here. Brat. This gloom doesn't suit a desert town at all. But I know a way to brighten up the place. What are you doing? Watch me shine. I don't know what that was, but I think you'd best be on your way. <laughs> just like, I don't know what you're doing here, lady, but just leave. Uh, what? What was that just now? You were spinning around so much it made me dizzy. It was a dance. Was it your first time seeing one? A uh, dance? Lila! Darn, Gramps found me. Oh, that girl sure can run. Maybe Platt will know about my mom. She'll come home when she's hungry. More importantly, that was a beautiful dance, young lady. Hey, see, you got fans already. Th thank you. It seems the other townsfolk didn't quite agree, though. Nonsense. You were a sight to behold. You must be tired from your journey. You're free to rest your feet at our house, Miss... Uh... Please, call me Agnia. But are you sure? We certainly are, Agnia. In fact, we insist. After all, something about you feels familiar. All right, so I guess we're going to go to the old couple's house. Is it right here? Oh, of course. Grandma. Their house is a... Uh, they got a million kids. They'd be getting busy. Were you good boys and girls while we were out? Who are all these children? They're young ones from all over town. We watch over them when their parents can't. There aren't many jobs to be had here, so their parents leave in search of work. Is she a new friend? Oh, that's amazing! She's a traveling dancer. You're all too young to know, but another dancer visited this very town 20 years ago. She was a kind-hearted woman named Kwani. That was my mother! Oh, it's no wonder you felt familiar. You look just like her. It makes me happy to hear that you remember her. As if we could forget. Kawani was only passing through, yet gave from her own pockets to help us. She took care of us like she was our own mother. The townsfolk built a statue of her so that they'd never forget the hope she gave us. So that statue is of my mother. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. She met a little orphan girl while she was here. And she taught her how to dance. That little girl never stopped dancing. And now, she's famous for it. A famous dancer? Pardon me. I thought I told you to leave. You again? No matter how many times you come around, our answer won't change. This town is all we have left. This is our home. I beg you to reconsider. I've seen her before. We paid a lot of money for this land, which makes you no more than trespassers. 
My liege was gracious enough to give you time to leave, but no longer. I will force you out if I must. Stop! I won't let you lay a finger on my parents. Nyla! Get lost, you big oaf. Don't you have someone else to bully? I can't imagine what you'd want with a garbage heap like this. Let the others know there will be no mercy next time. You've been warned. Thank you, Lila. Lila. Didn't I tell you already? There's no hope for us here. Lila! Did she run away again? At a time like this? You spoil her too much, Platt. Lila was an orphan. She was abandoned when she was little, so... We took her in and raised her as our own. But her heart's been closed off ever since. And all she ever does is make mischief around town. She always says that there's no hope here. I wish we knew how to make her happy. I have to do something. I have to find Lila. All right. So we just got to find Lila. Oh, she's up at the statue, of course. What am I doing? Soon this town will be nothing but a memory. And a bad one at that. There was never anything fun to do here. Fun. So that was a dance. Nice. She can't hold it back. She got the feeling for the grooving. Uh, what? What are you staring at, you idiot? I was just admiring your moves. I'm happy to see you've taken a liking to dance. Uh, no, I haven't. I can teach you if you like. What do you say, Lila? Well, what? Your shoes. They're all tattered. You can't dance in those. Which means I'll just have to find you a new pair. Hey! I didn't even agree to dance with you. Never you worry about that. Just wait here, okay? What's up with that lady? So we're gonna find her some shoes? I guess after the banter. Alright, now let's find Layla some shoes. Before that, Agnia, there is something I must speak to you about. The Flamebringer, Alfric, once shared his fire with the people. They were grateful for its warmth on cold nights, but Alfric's flame died and his body grew ragged. Why are you telling me this? Because, Agnia, your shoes are as ragged as Alfric's was. <laughs> what? You? You're, you're right. It is important to think of oneself from time to time. Thank you, Taminos. I definitely have to do something about these shoes. After we find Layla a good pair, let's go. Goodness, may the sacred flame guide you. Maybe we'll buy two pairs and have matching set for me and Layla. Am I in the right spot? Oh, this guy has them. Some cute shoes. Too bad there's only one pair, huh? They fit perfectly. Thank goodness. I guess they do. Now then, let's begin. Just follow me. Your turn. Fine. There's no need to get so excited. Are you crazy? There's no way I can do something like that. This is called the moon step. It's an advanced move, but I know you can do it, Lila. I get it now. You just want to laugh at me, don't you? Of course not. When I saw your moves, I knew. You've got the makings of a dancer, Lila. I do? But when you start, you don't need to worry about doing it well. You just need to have fun. That's the most important part. Fun. Come on, let's give it another try. Honestly, for me, I'm not a fan of dancing. I know a lot of people really like dancing. That was amazing. <laughs> it's just not me. Not a fan. You dance wonderfully, Lila. That's the first time anyone's ever praised me so much. <sighs> Thank you, Lila. Huh? What are you thanking me for? It made me happy to see you have fun. D don't be ridiculous. Wouldn't you be happier if I could do the moon step? Huh? When I watched you dance, all the bad thoughts in my head disappeared, and my heart felt warm. What's wrong with me? Lila, what do you say we do it one more time, Lila? I... I did it! I finally did it! You did! You learned the moon step! It's proof that you worked hard. Harder than 
anyone, Dulcinea. Thank you, Miss Kalani. After I saw you dance, I decided someday I'm going to be a star. Grandma! That was a beautiful dance, Lila. It reminded me of Dulcinea. Dulcinea? You mean the little orphan girl that my mother taught was... That's right. Her name was Dulcinea. She used to practice here all night with your mother. I'm happy you found yourself a good teacher, Lila. Dulcinea said she was going to be a star. And now she is, but not everyone here is happy about that. After all, when it came to the townsfolk, that girl... Come quickly! The town's in trouble! What? I'll go check it out. I'm going with you. What could be happening now? Alright, so I guess we're just gonna find out what the hell's going on in town. What do you think you're doing? I told you there would be no mercy next time, didn't I? Stop this madness! This town is our... <laughs> Dolcinea? Greetings, you poor little slum dwellers! What the heck? Allow me! She totally forgot where she came from. I don't care if you're a star, the moon, or the whole damn sky. You need to come back down to Earth and remember where you came from. Straight up. Fortunately for you, my memory just isn't what it used to be. Now go, Veronica. I will be watching the show from atop the hill. Understood. What the heck? No. I can worry about the wise after I put an end to this. Let me help. I've got to teach these bullies a lesson. I can tell how much you care for everyone, Lila. But you have to leave this to me. You get the other kids to safety. You hear? Agnia. Okay. Leave it to me. Good luck, Agnia. I won't let you down. Let's hear the banter. Dolcinea. How could she do such a horrible thing? I got a whiff of loneliness from that lady. You did? When you say star, you're talking about the ones in the sky, right? They're so high up, people can't reach them. Maybe she's lonely up there. It's been my dream to be a star like her someday. I want us to be able to smile and laugh together and share the stage. Even if you become a star, Aggie, I don't think she'll be or you'll be lonely. You'll always have good friends around you. Well, thank you. Dragon Ridge. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How do we get this freaking treasure chest down there? Hell yeah, I figured it out. The Wind Whisperer. I suggest you get out of my way. Hell yeah, another chest for me. Empowering. Lychee. I don't even know what that does, dude. Let's play. I think it makes it to where you have like extra BP or something. Another chest. Hunt or be hunted. Oh, look at that chest way over there. Time to clean up the filth. The Tempest Amulet. What do you think that does? Greatly reduces wind damage. All right, we save the game. I think we're right there. Yep. Found you. Well, well. If it isn't the little dancer from before, have you come for an autograph? You must be quite the fan to come all the way out here just to see me. I'm not here for an autograph. Far from it. I came here to stop you from destroying that town. Unfortunately for you, I have big plans for this place. It is to become Dulcinea Land. Dulcinea Land? It has quite the nice ring to it, no? It will be a shining paradise built in honor of the realm's finest superstar. I'm giving these people something they can be proud of. They should be thanking me. But isn't this your hometown? Your jokes bore me, little girl. Dulcinea? This is no home of mine. My very first memory is of sand. Everywhere I looked. I can't even remember my parents' faces. I was abandoned here. Life was miserable. Dressed in flea-ridden rags, scavenging for food. But one day, an opportunity presented itself. Dazzling light descended upon this gloomy, destitute town. Everyone's eyes were upon her brilliant figure as she danced. She was a star. That's when I decided to prove myself to the world. After some time, 
I became a dancer and found myself in front of a grand stage during my travels. I wished to dance upon it, so I worked harder than anyone, till I outshone them all, and I scaled the dazzling stairs to success. Do you see now? I am, without a doubt, the realm's finest superstar. I trained every day of my life, so that my glow would never die. How could the world's most beautiful, shining star come from this depressing slum? It's simply not possible. Which is why I say, this is no home of mine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you come from. A true star would never cause others pain. A true star is... That's quite enough. Now would you get out of my way? This area needs to be cleared. And once it's gone, all memory of it shall fall. I'm not going anywhere. Straight up. Bust a move on her ass. You stubborn little girl. You should know that such obstinance will only get you. I don't think she recognized how amazing my spin was. Get her again. You can try, but I won't let you lay a finger on this town. Wait for me, Lila. Cleaning time. Sheesh. Easy. And so it goes. I failed. You wish to give her a moment in the spotlight, I see. You are too kind. Take a moment to catch your breath, Veronica. I must confess, you put on quite the show. There is something special about you, Agnia. Something rare that not all dancers have. You have a glow about you. Dulcinea, stars are meant to... Put smiles on people's faces, yes? What nonsense. I dance to prove myself to the world, to gain the people's recognition. I thought only of my own happiness. You're Kwani's daughter, aren't you? I suppose you're faithfully following her teachings, then. I am. You're such a fool, though I cannot deny even the smallest bit of interest in you. Is this an invitation? The Festival of Grace? It's the main event of the Grand Gala. Very few dancers have the privilege of performing in it. We can settle this there. The crowd will decide which of us is the true star. That's fine with me. I look forward to it already. Till then, I leave this little heap of huts in your hands. We're leaving, Veronica. Tonight's show is brought to you by me. Dulcinea Lucille, I shall await you on the stage. Dulcinea's gone. I can't thank you enough, miss. I'm just glad everyone's all right. Oh no. Look, Mother's statue. It's in pieces. Our hope. <laughs> Isla! What's wrong with all of you? Don't you get tired of being gloomy all the time? What are you talking about, Lila? If you're looking for hope, it's right here. I... I'll be your new hope. Isla. Lila! She's dancing. I can't believe it. Ouch! Lila! Whoa! Hell yeah. They got new hope. I love Star Wars. Were you able to find something too? I was. I found... Uh... 
I think I'll say, damn, I don't know. Either a mother's love or the power of determination. I'm gonna go with this one. Really? I'm glad it wasn't just me then. When I dance, my heart feels warm. All the bad thoughts in my head disappear, and I'm filled with happiness. Those are beautiful words, Lila. From now on, I'm going to share this happiness with the whole town. Thank you, Lila. Again? What are you thanking me for? I should get going. Agnea! Lila, let's meet again someday. That's a promise, Agnea. See you soon! How wholesome. How wholesome. In the town of Sai, Agnea uncovers the memories her mother left behind. A superstar dis despairs over her past, while a young girl hopes for the future. The traveling dancer keeps their stories close to her heart as she makes her way to the Grand Gala. Agnea Dancer Chapter 4 ended. Let's go. Alrighty. We'll save the game and be done here. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, which is actually kind of... I mean, the dancing character is the worst out of all of them, I think. But this wasn't the worst chapter she's had, so <laughs> it wasn't too bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed it at least somewhat. And I'll see you guys next time for more. You guys have a good night.